Uh, Elizabeth and our students were, were parked. Um, I met them halfway and they, um, they were parked on, on 64 just west of Charlottesville um, for 45 minutes at a standstill. So oh, cool. thank you so much for waiting. Thank you so much for being here. Um, this is going to be a great release today. I'm really excited about this. Um, my name is Dr. Dave McRoar. I'm with the Wildlife Center of Virginia. And um, um, I first and foremost, I really want to, to thank the, the staff of, of York River State Park for, for having us here today and allowing us to, uh, to release this uh, fully adult bald eagle back out into the wild. This is just, just brilliant. And please, big hand of, of applause for, for the State Park. Uh, this is just brilliant. Eagle, um, the eagle we're going to be releasing today, I'm just going to give you a little bit of history on it, um, and um, and then what I'll do is I'll get the bird out. I think the plan is, um, um, just in consultation, um, uh, is the space behind us here, the sort of the, the long green space going off down the river, I think that's where we're going to actually release the bird. Um, there's going to be lots of opportunities on either side for the bird to, to go and roost if he or she decides to do so. Um, or if she wants to keep on going, it's a, it's a straight shoot right down the river. So I think that's going to be the best spot. When we go over there, I'll just ask, we're going to sort of form two lines um, and the bird can, will be released in the middle and we'll go sort of right through um, everyone. The bird doesn't have, doesn't have to fly over you and that's going to be the best thing for her. Um, this bird came into the Wildlife Center on, on the 27th of uh, July. So we've had her for, for about two months now and um, fully beautiful adult eagle. Um, and uh, she was found actually not too far from here, down in Newport News, um, by a park ranger. And um, she was found on the ground. She was um, unable to fly. She was really, really wet, and um, indicating that she may have come out of the river. Um, there was, but there was no obvious signs of trauma on her. Um, and the, the park ranger at the time, he contacted, uh, I brought the bird to the, um, the um, Peninsula uh, Emergency Veterinary Clinic, and, and they did a fantastic job there of, of working her up giving her fluids, um, taking some x-rays on her just to make sure that there was nothing that they needed to do right away to stabilize her. Um, and they, they got her into a good place and then transferred off to, um, to a wildlife, a permanent wildlife rehabilitator, um, Lisa Barlow, down in, in the Virginia Beach area. And uh, Lisa had a look at her at the, the eagle as well and stabilized again. And um, is Tommy White here today? Tommy White is not here. Tommy White is, um, is um, uh, an eagle transporter and a transporter for us, and um, he brought the bird all the way from Virginia Beach up to Waynesboro, and he's, he's done this a number of times for eagles coming out of the, uh, the Tidewater area. So um, and that's sort of the connection of, of everybody that had to work um, really hard along the way in order to get the bird up to us. And um, from there, we did a physical exam. Our veterinary team did a, a full veterinary exam. We did blood work. We did more x-rays. Um, and we were trying to figure out why was this bird down on the ground? And the answer is, we don't know. Um, there was really nothing wrong with the bird um, that we could find, other than the fact that it took her some time to, to get her stamina back. We put her out into a large flight pen, and at first she really didn't want to do a whole lot of flying. She, she kind of sat there for a bit. Um, she'd fly a little bit here and there, but it took us um, up to two months, basically, to, to get her to the point, flying back and forth in our large Eagle flight pens, um, to the point where she could actually um, be you know, ready for release today. And uh, she, she's met all of our internal criteria, uh, so she's ready to be released. Um, the last thing we did with her was uh, just two days ago, we, we put a, um, in conjunction with the uh, Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries, um, we placed a backpack on her, which has a little GPS transmitter. Hey. And so we'll be able to follow this bird um, and see where she goes from this point on. And, um, you know, they say with these, these GPS uh, backpacks that um, they last for about two years or so. Um, and many of you know with NX, um, which is a past eagle, I mean, that bird's been going for 40 years now. Um, so it's just incredible how, we can, how much we can follow this bird, learn from these birds. And, um, you know, so this, this is really good for us as rehabilitators because we get to follow the success of the birds that we've rehabilitated to make sure that they're doing fine in the wild. Um, it gives us an opportunity to potentially get them back again if something happens. And that's what happened with that NX bird four years ago. Um, we released her and five months later she was hit by a car. Um, had the backpack on, and we got her back, um, you know, fixed her up again and off she went. And uh, so that's, that's a really good opportunity. The third and probably most important thing about these backpacks on these birds is that um, um, the game department is, is doing a very large study of bald eagles on the eastern coastal plain and looking at the movement of bald eagles, especially where they relate to airports. And as you know, there are a lot of, pi of uh, private, public, military airports on the eastern shore. And, um, and so the, uh, the game department is trying to come up with useful information 
so that they can decide in the future what actually happens or, or you know if, if it comes to mitigation purposes or if it comes to the building of new runways where where do where, where do the eagles go what do they do how do we need to interact with eagles to prevent them from being hit by planes because that that's obviously a big issue so down the airport well, lots and lots of airports, and, and everybody needs to live together, so that's that's the, the issue. Um, so it's part of a, they're putting on 90 um, backpacks, um, 30 of them will be on hatchier birds, um, 30 on sub-adults, and 30 of them on full adults. And they're going to be following them over the next two to four years, however long the, uh, the transmitters last. So um, the backpacks are, are um, we put, we have five on right now, I believe. Um, just within the wildlife center and um, the, the eagles tolerate them really really well and um, you know if the eagles are ever caught again in the future the backpacks will come off um, but um, uh, I've talked to the biologists and, and the, the, the straps that are on the bird they basically just nestle them way their, their way down into the feather pad or tracks and they don't even interfere with the bird. bird just does its normal thing. It, it can eat, it can hunt, it can fish, it can mate, everything's good. So um, that's the history on this bird. Um, so now I'm just going to, to get the bird out. Is this a big one? This is a huge one. It is big? Yes. Oh. This is very powerful. Yes, I can tell. Well, that's okay. Quiet. The whole time it's good. It's good. She's oh feisty. Yes, I mean nothing. Are you no. Even when I... No. No. Turn to <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> you want Sebastian or Peter to help you? There he goes. She is not happy. Uh huh. That's good. Oh. And a feather. <laughs> Somebody want to get the feather and put it in the dance? Yeah. yeah. Can we do that? Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you like it, Greg. I'm going to give him a hug. She's ready. She's getting ready to go. Do you want to walk right up the path, or should I have him spread out further? feathers out a little bit just to get herself uh, repositioned and she may land in a nearby tree. She may also circle around completely, give us the, uh, the old stink eye and, um, and then be on her way. So we'll see what happens. But um, best of luck, girl. All right, are we ready? One, two, three. Oh, Beautiful. <laughs>